Okay, I'm trying this S-Log3 and I decided to, you know, make the best of this camera, the a7 IV that I recently got. And I wanted to test this flat picture and try and color grade it and use it since it's here, you know, it's there. Let's just try it. I'm also trying the 16130, sorry, 1635 uh, lens that I use, well, that I have and um, it's, it's lighter than the 24 to 105 that I use for car photography. Really good. Although Sony have just released the uh, 1635, which is a smaller profile and it's very lighter. It's very good for vlogging, but I'm not gonna spend another, God knows how much to have it. But yeah, look, um, the table is here finally. Um, it's been like this for the past week and I promise that I'm gonna do that today somehow. I just wanted to try that. It's very tricky with the lighting. I mean, here is good, but now I am overexposed. I'm gonna do this. Let's fix. Look around that. How do I look? I look great. I look good. Like the Santa look. No, no, maybe. Okay, tutorial time. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I haven't done this in a while and I, I, I'm always happy to create and record tutorials. Anyway, I've been, I, I have actually recorded the tutorial and halfway the system just crashed and um, ScreenFlow just throw in an error that it wasn't able to save the recording. And now I have to repeat the entire thing. Anyway, guys, before I start, you need to download the uh, smoke brushes that are available on Alex's website or video. I'm gonna leave a link to his video in the description below where he explains how he uses that. Um, but yeah, and you can download it from there. The second thing is you need to head down to my website and download this photo. It's available over here. I'm gonna leave a link to my website. You can download this, you can download that, you can try it on this, you can try it on that. Now, this one in particular is a rig shot and I used to do a lot of rig shots and I don't do them anymore. I need to get back to it. I need to be, you know, I need, I need that energy to just go back and shoot. Anyway, um, so I was looking at this photo. I was like, how do I add smoke to it? How would that work? And that's where the idea of the tutorial came. So uh, this, yeah, go ahead and, and download this photo. You can, you know, um, do it together. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate that that first tutorial crashed. Anyway, let's get started and start new, fresh, great. So assuming you've downloaded the uh, brushes, where is it? There you go. I think, yeah, we're going to use smoke too as the base of smoke for the wheel burn, yeah. So let's adjust that and we go to the brush settings, brush dynamics and smoke is very random. We spoke about this a lot in previous tutorials. Yeah, yeah, it is random. We're going to blur this anyway, so it doesn't really matter as much, but uh, at least give it some dynamity, dynamism. What, are, what is the word? Yeah, I think, I think that would, that would be okay. And um, yeah, you know, with smoke, it's not always white. It's a white gray, so you can mix both colors if you want. I'm just gonna keep it white for the simplicity and the sake of this tutorial. Uh, like I said, this tutorial will give you the basis of how to create such an effect and you can apply it differently, if you may, um, to your projects. Well, let's give that a go. I'm gonna make sure the flow is at 100%. And who? What is that? Let's just make it smaller. And I'm just gonna do this. Add this a little bit here. Ah, we're going to remove that part. Now I am going to fl filter blur, blur, and spin blur. I'm gonna move this down here. Move this maybe closer increase yeah 
Yeah. Let's do it the other way around. Is, is there a way to do it the other way around? I don't think there is a way to do it the other way around. So we're going to flip it. Uh, because the wheel is spinning this way and this is spinning that way. I don't know if anyone would notice. Anyway, I'm gonna click high quality and okay. And um, let's flip it. Is it horizontally going to change the way it's going to play? Yeah, I guess so. And let's bring it down here. Okay, let's adjust this. What we can also do is distort. Yeah, we're getting there. It doesn't have to be a perfect 100%. But uh, we need to provide a good base for this to work. And bring it inner more. Nice. All right, I'll keep it this way. Yeah, that, that, well, that will work as a base. We can always like fine tune it later on. All right, so now we can add a mask and we can play around with this, right? Let's just uh, use a brush, a random brush maybe. South round brush. We can decrease this so it gives us a little bit more forgiveness. This is one way of doing it. There are a lot of ways maybe of fixing this. We can create a selection, for example, or we can make one big brush. Just around the edges, I don't want, I want to show the wheel because the wheel should appear and be visible. It's that good, I think that's good. We can bo go back, boo back, what is boo back? All right, we can go back and uh, create a bit of scattering and uh, I think my computer is dying yeah it is dying it is dying I need to get a new one the M1 Max the new ones are very promising anyway uh, and we can go to on the edges like so just on the edges. Uh, I don't want to do this side, uh, mainly this here. I think I'm going to break this. So let's go smaller here and yeah, break this a bit because this is where it's going to extend uh, from the bottom, like so. I'm just going to keep this artifact. Mmm, don't like this. Let's go back to the brush, fix this. Bear with me. And I'm going to flip. Yep, this is better. Good. Fix this a little bit as well. Oh, by all means, you can skip if you want to. Oh, just skip and watch the rest. All right, don't wanna bore you with this, but you see where this is heading. All right, now I am going to, hang on, let me save, let me save the recording. Let me save the recording. All right, thank God nothing went wrong so far and the recording was safe. All right, now we're going to add more layers to this. So um, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to select one of the long lengthy brushes. I think this is the one. Yeah, I think that would fit. Well, let's, oops, let's just increase this to 100%. Is this big, small? I can always, mm, I think that would work. I think that would work. Yeah, all right, so let's fix this. Let's go to the distort and 
you're going to try. Yeah. Great. I'm going to create a duplicate of this and I'm going to tell you why in a bit. Now, the smoke that is closer to the car, right, is going to be a bit blurry because as it exits the wheel and hurting the environment, it's going to be a bit blurry. The smoke at the back is going to be less blurry. It's going to be more visible. So this is why I created two. Um, this one is going to be blurry, so let's blur this one out. Don't worry about all of this. We're going to fix it later. Filter, blur, and motion blur. Yeah, I think this would work. 35 is good. I think this is the previous settings. And what we're going to do is add a mask and do the gradient thing and let's do yeah something like this this is good now enable this and do it the other way around add a mask and do this oops let's see Uh-huh. This is the, okay, this is yeah. Yep, we're getting there. That's good. Let's enable this. Yeah, that's good. We can add a lone one in the back a bit. That is let's see. Uh maybe we select this and make it smaller. Uh, maybe somewhere around here and angle it a bit like so and decrease the opacity lonely I am so lonely okay um, great what we can do right now is let's fix this first mm -hmm. brush All right, this is not gonna work. Soft round brush. Decrease the flow. Just take the ones off the wheel a bit. Right here. Yep. Let's fix this as well. Good. All right, what we can do is duplicate this and, and then flip it vertically move it up here so now you've got a great smoke it's coming out I'll see the before and after of all of this let's just like put them all in one folder before after I'll see the build up start with this one and this is the first, second, third, and nice. I feel like this is, there is a patch missing here. What's happening here? Hang on, let me see. And ah, oh, okay. It's part of the smoke. This is why it looks patchy a bit. So what we can do, get the brush. We can either fill this place or remove this. Ha, like so. Hmm. No, undo, 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 undo. What we can do is create another duplicate and move this a bit up. Like so. Fix the brush. Like so. Like 
so, so, and enable the rest. Yeah, that's quite better. Move. Yeah. It's quite a lot, but brush. One pass. One pass on here. There you go. That's better. Anyway, you get the idea. So you can experiment with this. You can do it the way you see it fit. But I kind of like where this is actually heading. You can always decrease. Uh, yeah, let's just drop the opacity of these two because it's random. Uh huh. Okay. You can maybe remove more of this. Let's see that. All right. Maybe what we can do is move this a bit further away. Like so, and drop its opacity, like so. That looks okay. Maybe again, we can always finesse this. Let's go back here because this looks a bit odd. And yeah, we've got a bit of randomness. And I quite like how it is so far. Anyway, you get the idea. This is the base of which you can create this effect, this smoke wheel burn kind of an effect. And you can finesse it the way you see it fit. Fortunately, the first <laughs> tutorial that I created looked better than this. But you know, you know, so sometimes not everything works the way you want it, Mo. Not everything works the way you want it. Well, yeah, what to do. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. I believe that you might be seeing more of me. I hope so. And uh, I miss you a lot. And I miss doing this. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video.